was turned into a high kill shelter in Moulton, Alabama. And the owner said that after he was neutered that he would not hunt. So he didn't want him anymore. And he turned him into the shelter. And uh, Bobby Taylor, who runs the uh, local rescue there, uh, came and got him. And uh, I picked him up and we brought him. And uh, Paul's adopted him into their family. He's a Paul's dog now. Uh, Tyler's house trained. House trained. He's uh, he's semi crate trained. He stays in a restricted area with uh, Samantha, my uh, chocolate lab, who's also a paws dog, and uh, they kind of are roommates. Uh, but he doesn't uh, he doesn't object to that. I've not had the need to crate him really, so I haven't done that. But uh, Tyler's sedate enough that he's okay. He's he's not needed. He's to easy that. to walk with. Uh, uh, yeah. He's, he's, a, he's a gentle dog. He's uh, kind of low energy, low key, uh, good natured. He's tolerant. He, he can be alpha uh, male around other dogs, but not in an aggressive way. He just let, lets them know that he's, if he wants to be the boss, he can. But normally he just ignores everybody. <laughs> See? Good boy. Good boy. But he's real, he's real good. Very gentle, huh? Yes. I have a five-year-old grandson, and he's, he, got one like that one. he's been around him. They don't play a lot because the bigger dogs are a little bit big for him to, to deal with, but Tyler would be the one that he could play with because he's so sweet. Okay. Oh.